Shout out to all the supporters of Tupac was lyrical. Let's get into it. Approach you and post a minute. I'm on my double law tenant. As you pass by, wink in my eye. Freshly sent it. What's the haps, baby? Come get with me and perhaps, lady. You can help me multiply my stacks, baby. Come and see, seem small. I need companionship. Do with that scandalous shit. I bet your man ain't shit. So why you hesitating, acting like your shit don't stick? Check out my diamonds, bitch. Everyone go play. This be a thug thing. Outlaw nigga with riches. Cream dreaming, motherfucker. Own a mask for bitches. Check my resume. Sipping on Cristal and Alize. Smoking on. Big weed key to Cali Wack. Don't like tricking, but I'll buy you a fit. I can't stand no sneaker wearing nappy hair, bitch. Let my baddest re re briefly. The soul chief putting bitch made busters to sleep with no grief. Mash on my so called car. Who the man while I'm tugging on your main bitch head? Understand this, ain't no nigga like me. Fuck Jay Z, he broke and I smoke dead. Ass. Baby, let's be friends. So when he says approach you and post a minute, arm on my double R tenant. Rolls Royce, as you pass by, winking my eye, freshly sent it. So he's winking, so he's winking his eye, and he freshly sent it. That could be the cologne, or that can be the weed. You know what I mean? What's the haps, baby? Come get with me and perhaps, lady. You can help me multiply my stacks, baby. You can help me multiply. Perhaps you can help me multiply my stacks. So in this case, he's talking about doing business with me. And then, currency seems small. I need companionship. Whoo, currency seems small. I need companionship. So it's just like money ain't nothing. I really need a companion. I really need somebody who's going to be by my side. Through with that scandalous shit, I bet your man ain't shit. <laughs> so why you hesitating, acting like your shit don't stink? Check out my diamonds, bitch. Everyone go blink. This be a thug thing, outlaw nigga with riches, cream dreaming motherfucker on the mask for bitches. Check my resume, sipping on Cristal and Alize, smoking big weed, keyed law to Caliway. I don't like this line right here, though, when he says this. It's coming up. Don't like tricking, but I'll buy you a fit. This part right here. I can't stand no sneaker wearing nappy head, bitch. Like, this shit reminds me of Don Imus when he said... Something about the WNBA players calling them nappy-headed hoes. Like, you know what I mean? I got nappy hair. Pac, you know if you let your shit grow, your shit nappy, bro. You know what I mean? Like, he, he, maybe he was specifically talking about somebody, but, you know, we are taught to be proud of our naps if we ain't got that straight hair, the curly hair. You know what people define as good hair. Our hair is curly like this because they say it's, it's a protection and stuff like this. Some people say our eyes... Our hair is supposed to be as smooth as I, our eyebrows and stuff like that. Some people say we curse. That's why our hair is nappy. So it's just a real touchy subject with me when Pac says, I can't stand no sneaker wearing nappy head bitch. Then he says, let my pedigree read briefly. This old G putting bitch made busted to sleep with no grief. Mash on my so-called comp. Who the man while I'm thugging on your main bitch hand? Understand this. Ain't no nigga like me. Fuck Jay-Z. He broke and I smoke daily. It's crazy because when he says, ain't no nigga like me, fuck Jay-Z. He broke. Now, we all know to this day, Jay-Z ain't broke. But the funny thing about this is just like, you know, by Pac saying fuck Jay-Z, and at a time when Jay-Z was only popular in New York City, it didn't really have, uh, uh, it didn't seem too effective at that time. But Jay-Z was able to maintain relevancy and this shit right here, like this, the, the attacks that Pac gave him, because Pac just Jay-Z on a few songs. And it, it haunts Jay-Z, in my opinion, to the point where T.I. was like, yo, Due to impact or whatever on the culture, hip hop culture, he had put Tupac at number one and Jay Z at number two. And Jay Z called T.I. and asked, like, yo, you believe that? And he was referring to T.I. putting Tupac at number one. And T.I. said, yes, I do, based on impact. So it's crazy. And then also, that line, fuck Jay Z. That's what made Ether even more 
lethal by hearing that sample and fuck Jay-Z. You know what I mean? And that shit just stings that you got Pac on a classic disc record dissing Jay-Z. You know what I mean? It was just like, it was like Pac just prophesized like, I'm not going to be here. This nigga Jay-Z will be around, but my words are going to affect you forevermore. Can you imagine me and play a more rust the tricks? I got ready for a booty call. I fucked your bitch. Was it me or the fame? My dick of the game. But I scream west side when I came. Scream my name. Cause baby, it's delicious. Got a weak spot for pretty bitches. Up and down, similar to switches. My movement. Baby, let your back get into it. Make it fluid. In and out. All around when a nigga do it. You got me high. Let me come inside. I love it when you get on top. Baby, let me ride. Who wanna stop me? And my top not drunk. Why you change? Made a living out of cuss words, liquor and weed A bad scene turned good in this world of G Baby got me fantasizing, to seeing you naked It's the fuck song, so check my record Let's be friends So Pac said, can you imagine me in player mode? Rush the tricks, I got her ready for a booty call I fucked your bitch Was it me or the fame? My dick or the game? Bet I screamed West Side when I came West Side Gotta be talking about Faith Evans got to be talking about Faith Evans and the way that setup was that setup was can you imagine me in player mode rush the tricks so we rushing these bitch ass niggas the tricks out here whatever I got her ready for a booty call that's like Drew Down and a few other people that was talking about you know when they seen Faith coming over to the uh the hotel you know what I mean I got her ready for a booty call. I fucked your bitch. Was it me or the fame? My dick or the game? But I screamed West Side when I came. So he's asking the question, was it me, the fame, my dick or the game? It, 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 Faith probably was just caught up. I truly believe this that little line right there is about Faith Evans. The one that's been denying that Pac smash for so long. I don't need, you know what I mean? I don't know why she's denying it, but... I really don't believe her. There's I there's a video with Tupac being interviewed by Sway. And I don't know why people don't never use that, but it was like one of the first interviews. So when Sway was interviewing Tupac, they was just talking about the business aspect of it or what or what Tupac had going on. But when they took their little commercial breaks, you know, the audio was still recording and Tupac just started organically, casually talking. And in the talking, he was just like, yo, this, that, and the third, I fuck Biggie's wife, I blah, 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 blah. Like, this is before Hit Him Up came out. And it was crazy because I don't know what Sway was doing, what Sway was thinking. I don't see why he didn't ask him, like, yo, did you just say you fuck Sway? Did you just say you fuck Faith? You know what I mean? Like, but Pac was just talking and just going on. So maybe it didn't register at that time. Maybe he wasn't real familiar with who Faith was because Faith didn't really pop off, and I think, until like 95. So maybe Sway didn't pay attention to it. But that was like one of the first interviews Tupac did and before it hit him up. And he said, you know, I did this, I did that, I fucked Biggie wife, blah, 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 blah. And nobody had a response to it. I don't think Pac just going to come out the woodwork and say I fucked Biggie wife if he didn't fuck Biggie wife. And I really believe that's what that line is about. Bet I screamed West Side when I came. West Side. Scream my name, baby, because it's delicious. Got it weak spot for pretty bitches. Got a weak spot for pretty bitches. That's for a lot of men. Up and down, similar to switches. That's them cars up and down. You know, them uh, hitting switches and those Cadillacs and six folds and you know what I mean? Them shits like that. Whatever car. My movement, baby. Let your back dip into it. Make it fluid. In and out. All around when a nigga do it. You got me high. And that's when Pac goes right back into that part when he, uh, 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 when he flips into them different flows. And he changes his voice, changes a lot of that stuff like that, man. You know, Jay doesn't really do that. Nas don't really do that. Like, they're not that animated like that. They're great lyricists. And Tupac is a great lyricist who's also animated. Eminem is a great lyricist who's also animated. Kendrick Lamar is a great lyricist who's also animated. You know what I mean? So he says, you got me high. Let me come inside. I love it when you get on top, baby. Let me ride. Just that kind of flow. 
Who want to stop me? And my top-notch fuck player hating niggas because they cock block. You probably hate to see a real thug with vision. What's the game? You probably hate to see a real thug with vision. Pac had real vision for what's going on out here, for what he wanted to do. And it just so happens that this, he was like one of them thug niggas that had that particular vision. And them niggas probably hated that shit. He said, you probably hate to see a real thug with vision. What's the game? Rather see a nigga up in prison. Why you change? Made a living out of cuss words, liquor and weed. A bad seed turned good in the world of G's. Baby, got me fantasizing, seeing you naked. It's a fuck song. Now check the record and let's be friends. Just going back real quick. Made a living out of cuss words, liquor and weed. It's just like the hip hop culture. You know what I mean? And, and you know, it's not just cuss words. It's just words in general. Poetic, making words, rhymes to beats and shit like that. Liquor and weed. Motherfuckers probably hustling liquor. Motherfuckers hustling weed. A bad seed turned good. In this world of G's, you know what I mean? He probably seen himself as a bad seed that turned good, that started doing good, looking out for his family, looking out for his true friends. Although a lot of people that he looked out for, there's no need to go there. Baby got me fantasizing seeing you naked. It's a fuck song. I check the record. And it's crazy how Pac can get political. Pac can throw a shot at Jay-Z. Pac can, you know, throw a, a, a shot at Biggie in this track. Because I still believe that opening line is to, to Biggie. And it's, and it's about Faith Evans and shit like that. And then he can get right back on the subject matter of let's be friends. There's not too many people that can do it in that form. You know what I mean? It's like, and how do you want it? This nigga talking about smashing and all that. And then he goes, Bill Clinton, Mr. Bob Dole. Then he just starts talking about political leaders or politicians excuse me so anyway yo this is the bar breakdown of let's be friends i was listening to ether today and that part where it's going fuck jay-z and it made me just inspired me to do this shit